<laughs> now, you would think with those qualifications, improvement would be impossible. <laughs> but we did it. I can honestly say this, this institution is a better place simply because you were here. We leave the community better than we found it. Just a few weeks after we began our studies, we were presented with an opportunity to volunteer for assorted organizations and causes in the area. Uh, almost everybody signed up, and if I remember correctly, we had so many volunteers that we actually had too many people by the stuff to do. Um, we've continued to this tradition at every possible opportunity, whether it be simply collecting food for the hungry or warm clothes for those who were cold. Once we gained some kind of semblance of legal skills, we immediately began putting those skills to use in our greater community. Uh, whether it be helping the victims of Hurricane Katrina, settling property disputes for the poor in North Carolina, or ensuring that a person's life worth is protected through legal will. We then fine tuned and honed those skills through our summer jobs and externships, and learning all that we could and using that knowledge to make the world a better place. Many of us continue this tradition at the law school. Some of us continue by putting enough pro bono hours to make the average person question their sanity. Some <laughs> help with death penalty and innocent projects, others provided leadership for countless student organizations. We joined moot courts and trial teams, and we've competed to M1 all over the country. We blue booked academic articles for our legal journals until we questioned the wisdom of the decision to even come to law school in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, we've studied hard and continued to raise the academic bar for those who come after us. But even with such a high bar and impossible standards, we still take the time to help our fellow students. Some of us active peer mentors, orientation counselors, dean fellows, some of us formed study groups, some of us became best friends. UNC is known as a place of high academic standards and big smiling faces. Although I'm sure one or two of us felt the competitive spirit, we didn't let it overwhelm us. Although we did have plenty of times to work out some of our competitive spirit, just as our champion intramural live football team. <laughs> we still help our classmates whenever they need it, whether it be class notes or just the shoulder. And just a little side note, I had to give a speech. I mean, I'm honored to give a speech the incoming class of 2013. And in it, I told him about Carolina law and the type of students that we had. I told him about the Carolina law family, and this is part of what I said to them. Carolina law is a family, and believe me, that is exactly what you are now, family. I know that sounds cliche, but I'm here to tell you that it is completely true. By this time next year, and for some of you by this time next week, your classmates are going to be as close as brothers and sisters. Some of your professors are going to be like second parents. A wise woman once said, the great gift of family is to be intimately acquainted with people you might never even introduce yourself to, had life not done it for you. Now, you guys have definitely become more than classmates, you've become family. Some of you guys are as close as brothers and sisters to me, some of you I feel like I've known my entire life. And you've definitely made me a better person. I'm literally better for knowing you guys. I'm honored to have been your classmate, honored to have served on SBA on your behalf, and most importantly, I'm honored to be your friend. And although this day is primarily about us, I don't want to forget to thank the faculty, the staff, our advisors, our mentors, our friends. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. You made us better people, better thinkers, you improved our spirits and our minds. You made us ready to go out into the world and at least do some good or make some money. No. <laughs> you made us better than we were and hopefully we have that effect on you. I also want to take a moment for those of us who didn't complete the journey with us. A few decided the law wasn't the best route for them, and unfortunately, at least one had that choice made for them. But I can say this, just remember to continue this tradition of leave and get better than you found it. Practice law with that in mind. Now, I did a little research on the quote this last night, <laughs> and it turns out the guy who said that was Robert Baden Powell founder of the Scouts. And since he was unknowingly inspirational to me, I'll leave you with one last quote of his that I found appropriate. The real way to get to happiness is by giving happiness to other people. 
Try and leave this world a little better than you found it. And when it comes your turn to leave this world, you can die happy in feeling that at any rate you have not wasted your time, but done your best.